Hello everybody, Tim here with another review, but again, not a movie review. This time we're talking TV, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about Stranger Things Season 2. Now, I posted a review for Season 1 of Stranger Things, you can check that out, um, but this time we're talking about Season 2. This was released almost a month ago now, um, but you know, I, I like to take my time with these things. Um, these shows that come out on Netflix that are meant to be binged, um, I, I used to do it, I just can't do it anymore. It's too much uh, to process in a short amount of time, plus I, I, I gotta make some money, so I gotta work, I can't take time off just to watch Stranger Things, I wish but I can't. So anyway, guys, it took me a while to talk uh, or to watch all of this, to think about it. I actually finished watching this about four days ago, four or five days ago, but I wanted some time to think about it, really gather how I feel about it. And here's the thing. If you haven't seen my season one review, um, I didn't really go it into a whole lot of depth. I just said, you know, a couple of things that I liked about it, um, because it had been over a year since that was released. I was just trying to catch up, put a video out, you know. Um, but what I did say was I really loved Hopper, um, and I really loved just like the tone overall. I think Eleven and Mike are great characters. I thought some of the other kids, like Dustin, I enjoyed, but the other kids, you know, they were just kind of there for me. Um, and I think I suffered from the you know, oh my god, Stranger Things is so good, so good, and I hadn't seen it, and so when I finally did watch it, it was good, it just wasn't what I was expecting, because it was overblown for me, um, but I still really enjoyed it, and I have that same feeling with season two, I'm not in love with this thing, I really, really enjoyed it, like, I liked watching it, but I don't think it's something I'm ever going to rewatch unless I'm watching it with maybe uh, Maggie, my fiance who has not seen it. Uh, maybe if she wanted to watch it, I would redo it. But this isn't something that like when season three is coming up, I'm going to rewatch it. Now I'm definitely going to watch season three. I'm definitely still interested. And I think that's why I'm like so confused about this because I really do enjoy the show. I thought it was really good. Um, I liked every episode, save for the 11 episode. Um, I think it's episode 7. And I know that everybody's been talking about that, so we won't even get into that. Um, but save for that episode, I, I, I liked every single episode. I thought all the characters really upped it this season. Hopper, still my favorite character. I liked what they did with Eleven, minus that one episode. Um, but I thought that for her being such a strong character in season one, I didn't like her nearly as much in season two up until the ending. I thought the last two episodes, she was awesome. Just absolutely awesome. Mainly the last episode, but just when it just gets batshit crazy. But um, Mike is a really great... I, I really like Mike. And, you know, I, I thought he was fine in season one, but I think it might also be because uh, Finn Wolfhard, I believe is his name. Um, he was in It this uh, last September, which I absolutely loved. One of my favorite movies of the year. So I think I had a little bit of that coming in of just absolutely loving him. Um, and then Dustin really came to play this season, too. I really enjoyed um, him and Steve's whole, you know, buddy cop type thing that they had going on some of my favorite moments from the season were dustin and steve even though they weren't my necessarily my favorite characters i loved it when they were on screen together it was great my biggest complaint about this season is i feel like there's no there were no stakes and that's not true there were but it just felt very i felt like this was filler and that the big, big thing is coming up in seasons three and four. Um, I thought that the, the, the demodogs, I believe, are what people are calling them. I thought they were cool little villains, but I, I didn't feel like there was a big overarching villain. And and the whole season here, you know, what what's going on is that the upside down is coming coming back, that the creatures or whatever, they're um they're once again surfacing and i just feel like at, without getting into spoilers at the end when when it's resolved um because mainly they're coming after will obviously since will was in the upside down in season one um and since mainly they're coming after him and again without getting into spoilers i feel like when everything is resolved 
I didn't get the satisfaction or I didn't, it didn't go where I was expecting it to go. Now, when the, when the show actually ended the last shot of the season, I really liked, and again, it's promising for what's coming in season three. I just thought that season one altogether was a tighter story. Um, and I feel like this is one of those cases where we're just setting up for the sequel, which you can pull off a little bit more in television than you can in, um, in film. Um, and maybe it's because it's only nine episodes. Maybe that's it too. I just, maybe I just want more. I don't know. I'm very confused about it. What I can say though, is I liked the show. I'm ready for season three. I'm excited for season three. I just wanted more. I wanted more out of this. Um, those are my main thoughts. So anyway, guys, uh, those are my thoughts on Stranger Things Season 2. Um, again, very jumbled thoughts, but that's what I do. If you've listened to me for any amount of time, you know, I just kind of spew out what I'm thinking. I want this to be, uh, you know, a place where we can just have a conversation about movies, TV, whatever it might be. So if you've seen Season 2 of Stranger Things, comment below and let me know what you thought about it um and be sure to hit that like button and hit subscribe if you enjoyed this um that would help me out a great deal it helps you stay up to date with all of my latest content and then uh you can laugh at me when i ramble on like this for 10 minutes about a tv show uh so anyway guys thanks as always for listening and until next time have a good one